One day I found that my reaction, the chemical reaction I was running, produced a brown powder. And overnight, very beautiful crystals appeared at the bottom of the reaction vessel. Omar Yagi, and I'm a professor of chemistry at uh, University of California, Berkeley, and a senior scientist at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. I was born and raised in Jordan. From a young age, I would say around 10 years old, um, I became interested in these molecular drawings that I saw in a library. And uh, I thought they were quite captivating. Later I learned that they represent the world behind materials and the world that we see. In my lab, we've invented a new class of materials where we combine organic and inorganic units together to make very large structures. So these units act as building blocks and we put these building blocks together, stitch them through strong bonds to make very large structures, make MOFs quite tailorable materials. So the pores that trap carbon dioxide could be tailored to trap organics that might contaminate water, or they could be uh, tailored to convert one harmful molecule into a harmless molecule. And so MOF chemistry is being practiced now in hundreds of labs in many different countries around the world, including Saudi Arabia. Receiving the King Faisal International Prize uh, for Science uh, is really a tremendous honor. First, because it's a prestigious prize. And second, uh, because it recognizes a field that has been the product of not just my efforts, but also my students, the many students that have come through my laboratory. And now the research groups all around the world that are engaged in MOF chemistry. This prize recognizes their efforts, and this prize really puts the MOF field, which is a relatively new field, on equal footing with other more established areas of chemistry.